important uh, uh, impact of this tournament is that the girls uh, would see themselves as not part of the poverty trap anymore. They see themselves as protagonists, they see themselves as uh, people who are recognized for their virtues and their skills and who they are. So it is a, an opportunity for them to see what it looks like to be beyond the poverty trap door. Participating in a team, respecting the rules and, and, and procedures, uh, getting to know other people, um, admitting to the fact that there's going to be an arbiter, a referee, mm -hmm. to call the shots and that you may or may not agree with him but you have to respect the thing. Um, and finally that uh, that uh, life has to be fun and that life has uh, can be taken with optimism as if it were a game, a cat and mouse game whereby sometimes you're a cat, sometimes you're a mouse but you're always going forward. <laughs> Well, because uh, it is an international uh, opportunity, um, it is a, a unique uh, social entrepreneurial activity. Uh, so I think that uh, it's worth it. We have a tradition already. We have a relationship with Homeless World Cup. This is why we're excited. They are ec excellent uh, in their performance, in their seriousness, and above all, in the protection of the young people that participate. So we know that the kids are going to be in good hands when they travel to Brazil. I mean, for a girl living in extreme poverty in the middle of South America, to have a chance to go to an international tournament is a life-changing experience in itself. So there is no way that a person can go there and come back and not be transformed and changed. The fact that they either won or tied a game or lost a game is almost irrelevant. Uh, they already won before they even left. So I think that uh, the Homeless World Cup is a great opportunity to allow opportunities to the excluded populations of this world. Uh, usually kids from middle class or upper middle class schools are the ones that are given this opportunity to travel overseas. Mm -hmm. And uh, when poor young men and women are offered this opportunity, they, they take uh, such advantage of, 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 of the trip that it is uh, completely uh, life changing. The um, the element that they do have in common has to do with the interiority of the problem. These are people who have been hurt psychologically, who are stuck mentally because they cannot overcome a reality. I think that uh, the fact that the Homeless World Cup takes place just calls the attention that there's a whole bunch of people who are homeless but who are not vagrants uh, walking down the streets who are hard-working people. They just have not had the chance. The system has not allowed them the, the opportunities to, to have homes, decent homes. And finally, this takes us to the idea, what is a decent home? Is it a decent home, a, a, a house, with only one bedroom where the whole family, adults and children, sleep together? Is it a house that has a, a, a bathroom, a sanitary latrine? So these are the issues that uh, have to be called upon. So the World Homeless Cup is good to motivate and, uh, people in the, in the developed world to understand the, the plight of the poor, and it is also to encourage and motivate the poor people of the developing world to overcome poverty. It's the same thing. 
<laughs> it's working with groups, it's working with self-help groups, it's promoting self-reliance, optimism, uh, vision. So we are uh, very, very aware of the, f of the fact that the Homeless World Cup in particular and similar activities in general contribute to motivating poor people. As I say, motivation and skills are the two elements that a person needs to change their behavior. And one without the other is not sufficient. So we see the Homeless World Cup as a very basic uh, instrument and tool to promote both motivation and skills. Well, it's an honor. It's an honor and more so now that we were lucky uh, to reach the quarterfinals of the World Cup. I think it's going to be a, a proud occasion for the girls to wear the white and red uh, soccer jersey that we wore. Train as much as possible. Make sure that uh, they have an opportunity to, to think outside the box, to be better than they expected of themselves because this experience will encourage them to, have, to take on similar challenges in other aspects of their life. They will remember this day and they will say, I was able to be, become part of a winning team in the Homeless World Cup. Now I can do it with my community. Now I can do it in my school. So this is a, uh, my recommendation is that they train as hard as possible in order to give everybody a very beautiful surprise. Just very, very good. Um, I've, um, I've known the Homeless World Cup since its inception almost, so I'm, I'm, I'm very, very encouraged that Mel and his team are going to uh, deliver a, a, a fabulous opportunity as well.